Right, welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all very, very well. I know it's a bit of a dreary world and dreary days that we live in, but hey, I hope you're all well. I hope you enjoy this video at the very least. Now, today, what we're going to take a look at is AMC, a uh, big, massive movie chain. Uh, they actually like own Odeon uh, over here, or at least they have like a big share in it, as far as I'm aware. Uh, over here in the UK, so very, very large, very, very big part of the industry, and they're set to open next month, uh, globally, apparently, which is awesome, like, I, I'm all for that, why? Well, I want to get back to the theatres, to be perfectly honest, I want to review stuff again, I want to talk about movies properly, um, and, and I'm, I'm happy that, that, you know, we're looking to return to it, I mean, Tenet uh, is said to actually be the test for that, but... AMC is, well, they're not doing very well. And it's an interesting discussion, isn't it, about Hollywood at large? Because the studios have often been kind of lambasted as like running on debt. I mean, how, how do they run where they suffer massive losses uh, all the time? So it's interesting to look at the flip side of that, where the studios are not making much money. Uh, and in fact, are basically posting huge quarterly one losses. Like monumental. Now this is an article on Deadline and I meant to do a video on it when it released which was on the 9th so you know a few days ago now but unfortunately due to YouTube's algorithm how they work a YouTuber in theory can only actually release three videos a day um, because anything outside of that third video you guys don't get notified and that's that's if YouTube is even bothered to notify you of the other ones. So that's why I'm a little bit late on it, and I do apologise. But we'll dive into that in a second. I do want to just remind you, I am making a movie. There's a battle axe there and a poster and stuff like that. A lot of people have said, you know, uh, talk about it a little bit more. Um, I've done quite a good few updates on it, actually. Um, big, long, like half-hour-long videos. Um, but obviously, because we get new people all the time, you may not have heard it. I'm making a horror fantasy film set in a world which I've created. I'm the writer and the director of it. Um, you know, custom weapons have been made, custom figurines are actually uh, on their way. We'll probably set up a Kickstarter for that because it's a good way of doing pre-sales. Um, but yeah, that, there's just a brief rundown of it basically. It's Norse inspired, it's got Conan sort of themes running through it, the thing running through it, and bits of Hellraiser and horror and all of these good things. So check that out, it's linked down below in the description box. And if you donate $5 or more to the GoFundMe, you're in for a chance of winning a really cool weapon prop. In fact, it's it's a lot cooler than that one because uh, it doesn't have to be battle damage because it's more of an ornament uh, as a giveaway. But anyway, let's check it out, shall we? So first things first, I mean, let, let's take a look at their, uh, their net losses, right? So the giant exhibitor, AMC Entertainment, said net losses swelled to 2.18 billion or 2.18 however you want to say it uh, including a giant 1.8 billion in non-cash impairment charges for the first quarter of the year from a negative 130 million the year before in what CEO Adam Aaron called unprecedented times now I would I would be very very interested to hear if this is just AMC or if this includes Odeon because again they are part of Odeon they have like a large thing with respect to Odeon be very intrigued to see like it does this include that as well or not because if it does well if it doesn't how, how much else are they losing you know now this is not a surprise that they're losing money it is a surprise they're losing that much that's a lot of money now revenue dropped 22 percent from 941 million uh, well two sorry 941 million from 1.2 billion for the three months ending in March. The nation's largest chain had presaged the numbers last week when it announced preliminary unaudited results within a range that it filed with the SEC. Now, the loss was at the lower end of the range uh, that it had predicted, which is good, I guess, uh, between 2.1 to 2.4 billion. Now, the adjusted net loss without the charges was uh, 231 million. Now. Like, what wh what happens here? Where are they going to go with this? Because you've got to remember, ladies and gents, that this is the company that is still very happily uh, boycotting Universal movies. I'm fairly certain that they're, they're still running with that. What, AMC, guys, you, you're in the bin. You're just going to go downhill. You can't just keep doing this. 
Now, obviously, whenever things like this happen, all of the big, like big, big, big companies start getting involved. So there are, you know, like Wall Street, right? Feared AMC wouldn't have enough cash to continue operating without filing for Chapter 11. Now, the company itself said as recently as last week that it wasn't sure it would be able to continue as a going concern. Like, they're basically, they are, well, they're just one second away from being completely in the bin, aren't they? It's just insanity. Now, uh, big ratings agencies Moody's and S&P downgraded its credit rating over a controversial distressed debt swap that would force debt holders to take a haircut. I, that's an interesting term. I don't even know what that is. Um, but basically, you know, they are... They're done. Like, it's going to be very hard to come back from this. Very, very hard. Now, the company has been successfully renegotiating with hundreds and hundreds of landlords around the world. So, the fact that they're saying this, I would in, it probably does indicate that that is part of it. The 2.18 billion that is part of uh, Odeon as well in the UK. Um, now, the fact that it's kind of renegotiating with landlords, I, I would imagine they'd already done that. And... I don't know what the status is as whether they're able to access any of the UK like schemes that have been in place because there's been quite a good you know a good few UK schemes but it's dependent on where you know well, where where they're filing and, and kind of what part um, the technicalities surrounding it should I say now obviously um, they're trying to basically get the first quarter rent completely forgiven uh, converting fixed price rent to a percentage of revenue going forward lowering rents for the second half of 2020 in some cases or for the duration of the lease. So they're basically just, I mean, they are they are literally on death's door. Uh, AMC is currently planning to reopen almost all uh, of the US and UK theatres in July to be positioned to showcase Warner Brothers' release of Christopher Nolan's Tenet, now slated for release on uh, July 17th, which I am i can't I can't wait for. I'm, I will be there. Uh, followed by Disney's Mulan, which is now slated for release on July 24th. Although... Don't know if it's got China release yet, because that was a big controversy. So far, it's already reopened 10 theatres in Norway, Germany, Spain and Portugal, uh, and expects to be fully opened globally in July. Wasn't aware that they'd already opened some of their uh, theatres, so that's very interesting. Now, obviously, they've gone and uh, they've gone and basically said, we, we, can, we can make some money, guys. We definitely can, even though we're 2.18 billion in debt or, you know, down. Um, unhinged, saying, basically they're just saying, hey look, we've got all these things coming out, we'll definitely make some money. But again, remember Universal, they got some, Universal got some big movies that you're boycotting. So while AMC is in active dialogue with Universal, no movies made by Universal Studios are currently on the docket. Uh, and this is their, them admitting it, Aaron said. So the companies have clashed over the studio's rollout of Trolls World Tour. Uh, which is obviously, they did it on home release. Like, of course they were going to. Like, of course. Why wouldn't they? Now, so Aaron said the company said that it's taking the following steps aimed at optimizing the timelines, safety, and profitability of our reopenings. Like, first and foremost, guys, like, Jesus, just, just downsize. Like, you guys, they, there's, like, malls dedicated just to theatres now. It's insane. Now, I do find this interesting. So, here's, here's basically what it's looking like the the landscape is going to be when they reopen and this, this these kind of things will put me off actually maintaining close contact with local national and international uh, officials to understand and coordinate the timing and requirements under which we can reopen now that's a problem i think because in the uk they're going to do this whole like you must be two meters apart from everyone it's just nonsense like you can't live like that Consulting with current and former faculty from the Harvard University School of Public Health to seek guidance from the best scientists and experts on how best to create a safe environment for our guests and associates. Uh, dude, like people have been going to the cinema for years, regardless of what they got. Like, come on now, you can't eradicate ger like germs, please. I mean, look, even electrostatic sprayers, heap of vacuums, wherever possible, upgraded MERV 13 air ventilators. They're just, it's just insane. It is insane the levels that they're going to. Uh, educating our guests so that they understand the actions we're taking with their safety in mind. I mean, what? Uh, establishing a protocol partnership with the global leader in all things clean. Uh, yeah, fine. You should have that anyway. Implementing, oh, and then like aggressive marketing and things like that. That's fine. Uh, reducing the cost structure. Basically, they're absolutely screwed. Uh, they really need to sort it out. Um, now, on March 17th, uh, there was like a statement, you know, in response to COVID-19, safety concerns, 
we've basically shut down, you know, all, all this kind of stuff. Look, at the end of the day, it's very, very interesting to see how this is going to pan out. Like, AMC, again, as stated here, they furloughed its employees and managers, uh, took steep pay cuts during the quarter, uh, and AMC, you know, drew down approximately $325 million under existing revolving credit facilities. In April, uh, in April, it issued $500 million in notes. Uh, we'll do everything in our power to make sure that this company thrives and prospers. With that, see you at the movies. I don't know how much, like, how many more legs AMC has to kind of run on now. Like, you know, genuinely, especially if they are going to start, from me to you, if they start opening their theatres and they say, you need to be two metres apart at all times. Like, can you imagine, well, one, can you imagine the queues? Like, I have to go down my local grocery store in the UK, and if I don't go very very late in the evening which isn't even going to be the case moving forwards because people are back at work and then that's when they're going to go shopping but if i don't go late in the evening i'm sometimes queuing up outside in what was red hot weather you know because it was like 30 degrees or something like that i know laugh it up but i'm sometimes queuing out there for like half hour to an hour just to get inside a bloody shop and then i've got to do my shop can you imagine the queues to see a movie it's just not it's not a viable option it's not a viable way to live now for me it's not and I, I would, I will not wait in line to do that. Like it's just not worth it to me. Well, I don't know what matinee showings may be. But what about you guys? Like, is this something that would really put you off? Because to me, it really would. Like that is make or break for me. Stuff like that. I just, I couldn't handle it. So let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comment section. Uh, I like to do these industry deep dives. I really do find it fascinating. I think AMC is at death's door. I don't think they're going to continue for much longer. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. And I'm not saying I want them to end, FYI. But I just can't see them continuing. Like It, it will be difficult. I think they'll be bought out more than anything. Um, they have to get money from somewhere. So anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. I've been Mr H. Take care.